Hello there and welcome back. It's been over two weeks since the last time I did a video with Unity. I was moving to another house and didn't really have that much time to make videos. Right now I have everything set up and I'm ready to continue with this journey. In the last video I created the whole scene with using FBX files and this is pretty much where we left off. So if you follow along with the last video you should be at the same point. But if you want to start from the same point as we have set up here, I'll put a download in the Unity resource channel on my discord server so you can find it there and download it right now if i click play you can see that our character is just moving non-stop what i want the player to actually do instead of moving at the constant speed for the character to move in steps so if you click right the character is going to go one step right then you click again right it goes one more step the steps that we want to take in this game is i think 10 units let's go to transform and currently the tractor is positioned at negative 20. And if we set it to negative 10, you can see it's in the next step. And then at zero, it's at the next step. So we want to change our tractor to be moving 10 units each step. And for that, let's actually modify the move node. So let's go to our move node. We'll leave the speed option. And another option that we need is the step size. Let's add that parameter so we can specify it in the inspector we'll use a float for it and we'll name it step size so let's set the default to 10 currently our update function is just transforming the object by the speed and we need to add some kind of check right now so that whenever our distance from the starting point to the current point exceeds or equals to 10 do we stop the movement so for that we'll need some more parameters we'll add a boolean for is moving and by default we'll set it to false okay now we need another parameter for storing the position so we'll use a vector 3 and we'll name it start position okay let's add another method that we will be able to trigger for the move to start since we're going to be triggering from outside of this class we'll use a public the return type we'll set it to void and we'll call it take a step in this method first we want to store the starting position so let's do start position equals to transform we'll get the position and after that we'll also set is moving to true okay now in our update function we need to modify it so that we check for the condition if is moving is true then we only start moving and after we move the object we want to check if our step size has been reached and we can do that by getting the transform position and subtracting the starting position that will return the difference but we want to get the magnitude of it and it's the length that we actually moved and compare it to if it's greater than or equal to step size if it is greater then all we do is set moving to false we can check the script by using the start method so we'll get the start method and the start method runs once the object gets created and in the start method we'll run the take a step method and this way we can actually check that so let's go to our game click play and there you go our character just moved 10 points and he stopped and if we want our character to move again we need some kind of input for that let's quickly add a button so let's go to our hierarchy right click and under ui we have a button option and then we can select the button in the inspector under button component there is an on click event so what we want to do is add an on click event and drop our player on the object right here and under function we want to go to move and there is a function take a step that we created so we can select that click play now and we didn't change any placement of the button so the first step is taken because we have the take step in the start method and now if we click on the button you can see that it takes another step click the button again and it takes another step and the box has reached its destination at this point we need to add the logic of triggering that the level is completed there is a problem with this current setup and the problem is when the tractor is moving you still can click the button 
and the step will be reset from the position. So what I mean is if you click the button, it moves. If I click a button again, you can see that the tractor stopped not at our step position. So a couple ways that you can solve this is by disabling the button after it gets pressed, or you can disable the step function. And a more complicated one would be actually to uh, log every step and execute one step at a time. We'll use the second option here. So in our move script, we want to block take a step if the character is currently moving. And that's a simple thing to do. So we can just use an if statement to check the condition of is move. And we want to allow the function to be executed if it's actually not moving. The one way you can check that is comparing it to a false value, or you can use the not sign. So exclamation mark is not moving. That will also do the same thing. So we put that code in the if statement. Also, we can remove the take a step in the start. Since we have the input already, go back to our game, click play. And now if we click the button, it's gonna start going. If we click it again, it ignores it. When the character stops, then we can click the button again. So there we go. In this video, we got our character to take a step. Currently, the character is taking the step only in one direction, and it's in the direction that we have the speed set up. For now, we'll leave that as is, and we'll change that once we'll need the character to move in another direction. The next video is gonna be on the logic of finding out if our block is in the right place. And if it is, we want to display a level complete. So thanks for watching. Click on the like button if you like it, and we'll see you in the next video.